here's part two of my thrift haul. I went thrifting in Springfield, Illinois. It's usually better. I got a lot of dollar a day tags because they, at that particular Goodwill store, uh, when they, um, so after they do the 50% off color of the week, they do a 99 cent tag for three days. And then they, um, what's the word? Oh, then they send it off to the bins after three days. But I got, like, some of the stuff would have made it to the bins. And that's just, like, insane. Because I got, like, a lot. Most of them are dollar day things. And, like, I've been trying to, like, just because this dollar doesn't, you know, like, was worth picking up. But, like, I, I did it anyway. And it wasn't, like, as good as it usually is there. Um, which was a little bit disappointing. But, um, but it was fine. I will have better thrift trips ahead. But I was very excited about these. So at this particular store last time, I did very well. And I also found these are a pair of Doc Martens. They don't have the yellow stitching. Um, and these were, like, literally, I kept trying, I told myself, look down. And literally in the same exact spot where I saw the Doc Martens last time were these Doc Martens. So these are a really great style. Um, ideally, I would like to have the yellow stitching around. But that is okay. I will probably list this close. The only issue with these, these are size of women's five, which is very tiny. At least the sizes there. These are vintage, I believe. Um, but again, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know, because they're made in China. If they were made in England, I could probably say they were vintage, but I'm not going to call them vintage just because I don't know for sure, but they have the chunky heel, they're black, leather. I paid $6 for these. I was more than happy to pay for that. These will... These will sell for a good amount. I just don't think they will sell for very fast. But, you know, sometimes they surprise me. Like, some of the stuff in the last video that I wasn't excited to list sold very fast, so... Um, okay, then this a new rack, like, literally blessed me up. I mean, like, it wasn't, like, it was just full of brands I really like to sell. I mean, like, nothing like, oh my gosh. Or, I mean, okay, the brands were like, oh my gosh, like, this is amazing. Like, I w didn't find any of my favorite brands or the brand I was hoping to find, which I d I'm not talking about it. I ranted enough about it in the last video. But I got, um, this absolute, like, icon donated a whole bunch of her athleta. And she was, like, in good sizes, too, in good styles. These are size 10, and these are, like, a ripstop short. And, like, a longer length, uh, maybe... They're probably, like, a three to four inch inseam, so, which is good. Um, I feel like Athleta is marketed toward, like, the mom, like, type of, like, age range. So, um, I mean, like, obviously, I know some, my sisters wear some Athleta, so it's not, like, exclusive to that. But, uh, yeah. But usually that's the stuff that sells the best for me is, like, like, the scores and stuff, like, that things mom would wear. Like, but, like, I feel like all the moms in my area wore scores in the summer, but I don't know. Maybe that's just my area. All right, these, again, we're on that rack. Free People Movement, black joggers. I've sold this style before, just not this color. I sold two in navy blue, but there's the logo. It looks like a wheat. Um, I think all this stuff is full price. I think, like, $5. Uh, again, she was, like, petite, though, too. These are Athleta On Your Mark Sunday Tight and Power Vita Medium Petite, which is not ideal. However, I have had luck selling Ath or some Athleta Petite, um, and these have, like, some, like, cutouts on the side so um that's interesting um and then here is the effort to look the little like yeah um this power vita fabric specifically does pretty well for me so um yeah i was fine with those um they do have some a little bit of pilling which i need to get a new sweater shaver mine is so bad and I just, i'm so sick of it please um leave your sweater shaver recommendations in the comments because like i just can't like yeah, it's literally so bad. Okay. This is another, like, turtleneck thing from Athleta. I think this is a slightly older style. It was $5. I mean, not older. Where is it from? It's from Holiday 18. So, yeah, but it's a turtleneck, like, color. I mean, like, ombre. Um, like, stretchy. So, I thought I'd try that for $5. Um, this is a, uh, Patagonia size large uh, base layer. I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it was a size large. I don't always get these base layers, but since it was a size large and I really wasn't, like, finding as much as I usually do in this area, um, I decided to get it. And along with that, where's the other? Like, okay, well, I don't really know where- oh, there it is. Okay. This was right next to it, so actually, you know what? I think this was, like, part of, like, a set or something. This is Patagonia, again, Capaline, like, the base layer size. Oh, this is a size- Oh, large, and then Europe and Asia is the size extra large. I've actually never seen that before. So there's a US size large. That's I've never seen that on Patagonia ever. But this is like a base layer or the base layer jacket. So I just saw one of these at a garage sale today. I actually did. There's some really good brands at the garage sale. I'm 
that'll be in like five videos so i'm not i shouldn't be even telling you that but like there was a patagonia base layer there but it had like a company branding on it and it was three dollars and i didn't even pick up the base layers as it is but with the company branding i just decided to leave it um since i have a lot like a lot to list all right on the new act, I really dislike this color, but they are the Free People Movement again. They're like short, like athletic shorts just sell really well for me for whatever reason. Um, so these are size large, so that's great. Like those, probably twenty five bucks. Um, probably twenty five bucks, twenty dollar, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty five, twenty five, twenty five to thirty, and probably like thirty to thirty five and twenty five to thirty. So like obviously like not like. A lot, but like, you know what, it's fine at the end of the day. Okay. These are Athletus Elation 7 8 tight and large petite. Which and these are like a print head, like legging. Um yeah, so like sometimes the prints don't do as well for me as like the solid colors do, but so say okay, so had these not had the style name under them, I would have left them. And to me you were probably like, well, does that even really matter if it has a style no name under them? For me, it like does make a difference in my athletic sales. I have tried athletic that, that does not I think, like, every Athleta piece I have sold that has the style name under it has sold super fast. Usually, it's in their pants and leggings that there's the style name under. I've never really actually seen it anywhere else besides their pants and leggings, but they've sold really fast. But sometimes when I pick up the Athleta leggings and they don't have the style name under, then they don't sell well for me. But, like, I don't know. Um, so, these are from Holiday 19. But I have been finding, since these are getting, like, not, like, super old, like three years old now i have been finding the, the ones with the style names and more often so even those i don't sometimes they're a little bit worn out so i don't get the ones that are worn out but um yeah i still pick them up all right we're not done though with yellow this is new attack athleta this was five dollars this is a pacifica contoured hoodie tank and this was 59 dollars size medium and it's like this hooded sweatshirt tank so i was very happy about this like good athletic styles good condition yeah i was like okay sure uh, oh, I was. This is probably one of my better ones on that rack. And this is all of this was full price. I know this was a dollar. These are the Headlands Hybrid Trek Jogger in a size twelve. This is great. Um, ripstop. Are they ripstop? Yeah, ripstop. Black jogger. Probably like a fifty dollars, fifty to sixty for these. But I thought a jogger. These like pants. I thought a pants for whatever reason do so well for me. Even if they're an older style, sometimes I'll still get them. And let me try to, like, I think I'm, okay, I have my last thing on the, or, okay, I got a Lily Pulitzer, like, from, like, 2021, like, pink fringe cardigan sweater, and, um, one of my friend's moms that, like, always makes don really nice donations to my, uh, business, uh, she, it was, like, a size extra, extra large, and she's that size, and she had donated some Lily Pulitzer dresses to my business, and both of them sold for $60, and so I sent her a picture, I was like, oh, do you think you'd want this? And she was like, yeah, I'll try it on. And she really liked it. So she did work to Easter and she is keeping that. I'm sure I'll get it back at some point. But like, uh, I was completely fine with that. So yeah, I just gave that to her. That was $5, like a steal. I love selling newer style Lily Pulitzer and sometimes the older styles still sell well for me. Okay, last thing are these. My least favorite color, but I know some people will love this color. And if that is you, that is great. These are Everlane, size six. I don't always pick up Everlane, but these like, um, I think I'm not really sure what these style is because I, I honestly do not find Everlane a lot. However, in this area, I always find Everlane. And my and it's an hour and a half away, and usually like the more north I go is where I find the better brands. However, that this is the exception. There's an exception to the rule, but um, I'm not saying like Ever, Everlane's not like the best brand ever. I pass on it probably most of the time. And I found Everlane. At, I went to five stores that I found Everlane at every single store. Um, but I did I did pick some of it up, and this was one of them. These were five dollars, like a mustard. Uh, straight leg pant so i was like okay i'll try these out they're size six too so all her stuff was just like really like good like you don't really you're like just like it's bread and butter but i'm actually like excited to list this stuff like last video i was kind of like oh, i'm not really excited to list that but like, i'm 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 like ready to list that like i'm i feel good about it like you know okay these were one dollar uh, i'm back to the dollar i think i'm back to the dollar ones now okay i got three dollars uh the red tech was a dollar and the black was half off but i the, all those were full price that i just showed you probably ranging from like five dollars okay we the free size 28 i usually pass on pretty bubble jeans however this is the i think this is called the penny pull on uh these are flare jeans with like this cuff at the bottom which actually stretches um so for, with them being a dollar and good condition and a size 28 and 
a desirable like their style i decided i'd give them a go and they're like the boho style so uh we'll have to see how these do i'm hoping for like maybe 35 to 40 um so yeah uh, this athletic tank i don't really know probably like what did it retail for 59 so i'll probably get 40 for that uh, i don't think it's the best athletic style ever but it is new tags okay then the, i've never found this brand in dresses before i've only found it in their t-shirts which i don't usually pick up but this is norma kamali size large and this fabric is just really nice it's like slinky like this will like be folded up like it was folded up and it didn't wrinkle at all which is like really nice uh one dollar and it's just like this black casual i think the dresses were a little bit picked over because it was like easter weekend or the weekend the week before easter so people were like trying to like look for dresses but i did find a few um i was very excited about these I, okay, so these are a pair of, um, Lululemon The Lab, which I've never found at Lululemon The Lab, and they were $1. Okay, so, this, the, the brain knowledge at this particular locations is absolutely horrible, which is great for me. Um, however, I have found Lululemon for a dollar at this, uh, place before in Springfield, I'm not sure people don't know what it is or if the resellers aren't looking for it. The last one was like a men's t-shirt and, but I was like, I just feel like somebody, maybe these were in the pants section. My, I go shoes, jeans, pants, and my mom usually does athletic wear, but she knows Lululemon, she, she knows Lululemon athletic, but like the thing is, and like Spanx and stuff, but like, I just need to start going through the athletic wear again because like there's some br athletic brands I haven't found, like, uh, Therese comes to mind, Bandier. I just watched Kelly Schaffner's athletic, um, like, haul, and it was amazing. She did such a great job. I'm so proud of her for getting into athletic wear. And there are some brands that she, like, found, like, right away that I haven't found yet. And, I, and, I've, uh, and I've been doing athletic wear for a while, and I was just like, huh. Like, that is, like, interesting. But then I'm like, well, maybe my mom is, like, doesn't know those brands. So I, I should probably just need to teach her athletic wear more. But, um, yes. Anyways... Uh, so probably, I'm gonna try to go through the athletic wear by myself at the, like, like, Buff Bunny, I feel like I should have found by now, which I have found it, but it was in Chicago, and it was marked up, but, anyways, okay, so these were $1, and I was just, like, oh, like, in the car, automatically, like, Lululemon, the lab, which is, like, more expensive, and these are, like, a wide, like, black pant, and then I was showing them to my mom, I was, like, oh, haha, do you want these, and she was, like, I don't really know, I don't think I wear these, and plus, there's, like, look at, do you see that? So it's, like, almost, I think it got ran over or, like, dried weird or something because at the bottom of this thing, do you guys see that? Like, you get, yeah. So, like, I'm not sure if that's going to wash out. I don't think it will. Um, so what I might do is I might go to Lululemon and hem them. I'm gonna, Well, I'm going to try to wash it out for, I don't think it's going to wash out. So I might go to Lululemon and hem them or just list as is. But with them being Lululemon in the lab and $1.00 and a size six, and, like, but this looks so crisp, though, which is uh, very odd. I still wanted to give them a try. So, usually when I go to this area, I found, like, five Lululemon, and that was the only thing I found, and I, if I, I think I would have probably cried if I went to five thrift stores and not found Lululemon, because that is, I don't think it's even ever happened to me, when I, where I have not found Lululemon when I went thrifting in this area. No, it, I, I, it has not, but still hasn't, so, knock on wood, um, yeah, usually I found, like, five, and I found one, so that was annoying. Okay, this is for my mom. This is Athleta. This is, like, the, like, super old label, size four. Um, Athleta kind of, like, runs a little bit big, in my opinion, but this is a, um, purple, like, athletic dress. This is good for her for the summer. Um, there's a logo. This was five ninety nine, but it was black, which I'm not even sure, like, see, it says black, so that might have been half off, but... I don't really know because it doesn't have a black barb, so, but that doesn't really matter for some of them. Um, so, it's like this pink, Barbie pink, geometrical, like, printed, uh, prom dress, and it is Mac Dougal. This was my first time finding this brand. It does not have a size, which is, like, not good. I did list this for $125. I paid up for it, so, with these, the, okay, so... They marked this at twenty dollars. It was half off. It was not half. It was not marked at twenty dollars because they knew the brand. It was marked at twenty dollars because like their prom dresses and stuff they mark up. Um, like if they if they're like full of sequined. Um. And yeah, so they're like, yeah, it's really like lined. 
and yeah so anyways this is altered it's not like alter it's all okay so like my si okay so i have my sister because i had some sherry hill i did find a sherry hill i did pass on it just because uh it was like a updated style um but i i was i have had some sherry hill dresses in my death pile for o literally over one year and i finally had my sister try them on i'm like i just found this one i'm like you're trying this one on too this was so unflat like it was so unflattering on like th this was altered to a person's thing so i just took pictures of it and i included measurements and hopefully someone's happy and sometimes like that's to be expected with those types of dresses so i don't know um yeah, it was it was really interesting. Uh, yeah, and my sister said that was ugly, so I don't know. I thought it was fine. Like the color is like trendy. Okay, next door, I got these Everlane. These are size thirty four plus size uh, high rise skinny jean, and these were seven and eight and a half up. I don't think I would have paid eight, but they are a plus size white skinny jean, which. Uh, Oh, I'm, like, really mad at myself because I'm, like, I like these ever so well. Like, oh, I also had 30, I had, like, 15 minutes to shop in this store. And, like, it's some of the times I had, like, the best stuff at the store. So, I was, like, kind of honestly sweating. But, like, I made it, yeah. But then I see, like, oh, like a stain. I think that'll wash it. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Oh, and I'm seeing, oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, they're white, so I probably should have known. But they're size 34, Everlane. This is my second time finding their jeans. The last time I found their jeans was also in this area. It wasn't at the store, though. So, Everlane, um, so 34 plus size, skinny jean, sure, for half off. Alright, this is an athleta, size so small petite, like, stretchy, athletic dress. This is, this fabric, so comfortable. Like, somebody is gonna be so comfortable in this all day. 93% modal and 7% spandex, which is, like, the comfiest fabric ever. Um, this is, like, one of their newer tags. Small petite. I thought it was so easy to list if you don't know already. It has uh, the style number. It goes, so you find the S, the, the first S, and then you do the number after that and don't do the dash. So it go. so this one is two, the style, you type in Athleta, and then you can do 210914 as the style, and that's it. Okay. Uh, so very easy to list Athleta. I, that's one of my favorite brands to, like bread and butter brands for me is Athleta because it's so easy to list. All right. This is a Bowden dress. This is a size eight, and it's like a um, yeah printed. I don't think I think the reason I got this was because it was like this like printed. I don't think I would have got it if it was just solid blue. But I don't always pick up Bowden, but I it is okay for me. It's a good bread and butter brand. This was the half of color, so I paid three dollars. I didn't get I didn't get any ninety nine cents at this store. And then the last piece I got, my mom really encouraged me to get. Oh, I did get ninety nine. Okay. I almost, I wanted to leave these, but they're like North Face size large, and they're just like a woman's straight leg pant. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll I'll give them a try, but I don't really feel like listing them. But that's all right. Um, yeah. So I'm in like a much better mood now because I went to a good garage sale, but and I had like a lot of decent like at the thrift store, and I have a bag sale haul to film after this. Like, yeah. But um, I also found out really news. Like one of my favorite consignment store workers at my bag sale. Like, she's leaving. Or, like, she did leave. And I'm, like, really sad now. Um, anyways, okay, that's all. But let me do your favorite piece. I think mine is the Lululemon Lab Pants, even though they're flawed. But I'm just so grateful for that Athleta Ladies donation. Because uh, that was, like, really, like, blessed. Because it was such good styles. And I love selling that type of stuff. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great week. Let me know one brand that you have found uh, recently that you're excited about. And I will see you guys in the next video.